In this video, I'll share 8 unique apps that you should definitely check out if you're a Mac user. And for the best part about this, all apps are absolutely free. So this is the part 2 of this new series. So now let's jump with the video. This app is called Latest and it has only one job. To update every app you have on your Mac. It doesn't matter if the app is from App Store or if the app is from any other browser or, or, or website. So this is how you do it. You just can tap on it. You're going to get the update option. You're going to tap on update and then it's, it's just going to do its thing. As simple as that. So look at this. First, some of the app is actually from App Store, and for the other app, it is actually from uh, the website. You can tap on that, and then it's sometimes it's gonna ask for your touch ID. Just uh, give the touch ID, and that's it. As simple as that. But the next app is called Copy Clip, and this is a game changer. So purpose of this app is the same thing as a Mackie that I show you guys in my uh, uh, past videos but things only problem with Mackie now that it is actually not like a, like a free anymore that, that it used to be so it's the same thing as a Mackie it's a copy uh, board uh, organizer it's a, it's a like a clipboard organizer and then if you actually stay on your menu board you just tap on that everything you copy is gonna show up uh, right here so let's say I actually copy something I just open up Safari and then I type in something so let's say I go to youtube.com uh, uh, and then I just, uh, then I just copy this, and after that I just copied it. And if you just tap on the, um, uh, go go back to the copy clip, you're gonna see that the thing I just copied is gonna be right there. To copy something, you're just gonna tap on that, and then it actually gonna get copied. If you just tap on that, that thing gonna get copied. And then over here you can just uh, open up the browser, <laughs> click on Command V. You're gonna see the, uh, that thing is gonna get pasted. How cool is that? Okay, for the next step, it is actually native with Mac Sekona and also iOS 18 and it's called iPhone Mirroring. This is another game changing app. Look at this. I can actually control my iPhone by using this app. I can control everything on my phone from this app. That's it is actually in uh, like native where Apple actually bring this uh, with Mac Sekona. Just know now with 18.3, that's the latest update. It actually makes life so much easier because I can even drag and drop from uh, my Mac to this who, without even opening the phone. Okay, so look at this. I just open up notes and then I just uh, copy this to image. Look at this. I just copy this to image over here. Then look, it's gonna paste it. Look at that. I just drag a photo from my Mac to my iPhone without even touching the iPhone. My iPhone is legit here. How cool is that? And then look at this. If I actually open up my iPhone and then I can go up right here. Look at this. It is legit there and it do it instantly there's no lag or, 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 or freaking anything so then that's one that is actually pretty awesome then i just should lock my phone tap on connect and then it's going to connect within like a few, a few seconds how cool is that for the next app it's called ice and it have only one job just know it is a really basic and simple app but it have only one job and it do that job really nicely you're gonna see this dot if you just tap on the dot it's gonna show you every app that is not there and then if you want to move an app that is you want it to show all the time it's all the command and then you're gonna uh, drag that uh, app right here and then for that app it's gonna stay there but if you just tap on that all the other app is gonna be hidden and it make your uh, mini bar uh, is so much way better it just now it just look more clean so it have only one job to make you, your uh, mini bar uh, clean and then it actually do that job and then for this app it's called eyes for the next step, it's called drop over and it actually make it dragging and dropping your app really easy. Look at this. I can just drag all this file at once. Just drag it down and then it's going to show up right there. Then over here, you're going to get this instant um, button. Because if you just tap on that, you can actually view it. If you just tap on X, it's going to be gone. Then to manage it, I just tap on the, just go on the mini bar, tap on that and tap on new shelf. Then it's going to show up right here. And then over here, if you just hover over it, you're gonna get this. Uh, you're gonna get this action icon right here. So the lighting, and then with this, you can actually easily airdrop it. You can send it to message. You can do mail. You can even do the copy it uh, drop over link. If you just tap on that, it's gonna make a custom link, and then it can actually go go to the link. And then for the link, it, it can expire within an hour, within a few days, even for a month as well. So with this, it actually makes it dragging, dropping file a, a, a really easy. Let's say if you actually any upside if you need to drag a file, you can do that as well. So I, I need to drag this image right here, and I just put it right here, and then it's, it's going to copy like that. As simple as that. So for the next step, it's called Sleeko, and it have only one job. It's a music player that can uh, connect to your Spotify, Apple Music, or, or things if you're actually using anything uh, else as well. And this is how it works. Just it make your life so much easier, and look how dope that look. 
if we just hover over it you can just control it you can go to the next track you can control the volume you can volume up or volume down and then if you also, also just tap on the three dot you can actually connect to all the platform then over here you can for the size you can actually manage that well you can do small you can do medium you can do large and look how dope that look and then over here if you need to lock the position as well you just tap on the process and you can like a lock the position as well so if you actually if you actually play music just know this actually look pretty dope so i'm just gonna leave it like that so just know this is an app called Sleeko and it's gonna make your music so much way better because you can actually control this music without even opening the app for the next step it's called shorter and it's one of my favorite screenshot taking app uh, on mac just know for the basic one that actually apple help is not that good but things with this app it's called shorter it actually take the screenshot screenshot taking to the next level but if you just trying to take a screenshot of this you're gonna hold shift and s and then it's, it's gonna take a screenshot now after that you're gonna get a bunch of new options you can do so over here you're gonna get arrows you can actually customize all of these you can change the color if you just tap on that you're gonna get color you can actually change it you can make it smaller or bigger it just depends on you and there's text you can actually add any text you want you can obviously change the size and also you can make it smaller or bigger you can just remove the thing anywhere you want and also there's other option as well you can do a rectangle there's a ruler uh, i don't know why and also there's a backdrop as well you can actually change the backdrop but things for that you have to pay but things all the all the basic screenshot taking app but things if you just tap on the three that you're gonna get a bunch of new option as well so all these are customizable and then also if you take a screenshot of a specific area you just hold co command shift and two at the same time and then you're gonna get this right here and then now you can just take a screenshot of this area right here and then if you customize it just tap on edit and then you can actually customize it as well but things that is not the best part about this app if you just go on the mini bar and then tap on the uh, shutter you're gonna get this over here for the capture screen you can actually do screen recording but things that is still not the best part it's the capture area just tap on that you can actually you can actually copy things from uh, like video as well so to say and then uh, and uh, select this right here what here you're gonna get this is called a uh, recognized text uh, there's a keyboard shortcut for that as well if you just tap on that it's gonna recognize the text that i was so it actually gonna recognize it and it's gonna copy it to my clipboard you click on command v you're gonna see that it text is copied so no, this is a from a youtube video and look how do, uh, dope that is you can actually recognize any text from uh, like a youtube video as well with this app it's called space launcher i can actually launch any app i want by using the keyboard shortcut so for this you have to hold the space bar and the uh, sn letter so for me i actually have to open up Sp uh, spotify i just show, uh, hold space bar and m it's gonna open up spotify and then if you want to open up uh, safari i just hold space bar and s and then it's gonna open up safari and then if you want to open up my web browser i just hold space bar space bar and b and it's gonna open up the it's gonna open up the web browser so after that you have to open up the app to actual app and then you have to assign the uh, app you to open so for this you can hit plus then you're gonna get this right here so first thing is gonna be the key so you can assign any key you want let's say i need to do c after that you're gonna tap on choose after that you can actually uh, choose the app you want to open so all the app you have you can actually open it over here so let's say i need to open up CapCut, just choose that then it's gonna be c then tap on save as simple as that after that if i just hold uh switch with and see and then just uh, give it a few seconds and then it's gonna open up, up a cap card uh, just like that how cool is that okay guys i actually forgot to record it also so here you go so if you need to see the faster episode of the series make sure you click on the video right here it's gonna be the 15 apps for mac so make sure you click on that video right here and peace out